The Patriots lost out on potentially signing free agent receiver Calvin Ridley when the Titans instead signed him to a four year ninety two million dollar deal pass reportedly offered in the neighborhood of twenty two million per year falling just short and then just a few minutes ago target of one Michael Holly oh. Keenan Allen gets oh. traded to the Chicago Bears for a first round no oh, I'm sorry scratch that a fourth round pick is all it took the Bears to land McCardell who I'm sorry, Allen, excuse me, who'll be 32 years old but had 108 receptions for 1,200 yards last season. According to Andrew Callahan of the Herald, the Patriots did reach out but found the fourth-round pick asking price. What are you thinking? Too rich. And then, just moments ago, Hollywood Brown, the receiver there, formerly of the Cardinals, of the Ravens, has signed with the Chiefs one year up to $11 million. How do you feel about all these names coming off the board, Mike, at a position that the Patriots need and not being involved? All right. Uh, first of all, let's start with uh, uh, Hollywood Brown. He's more like Overbrook Park Brown. I mean, he's not really Hollywood. He's not that good. I'm not worried about him. Uh, I, I told you last night about Calvin Ridley. Uh, I, think it's, I think he's a number two receiver. You gave number one money to him. That's the, that's the pro byproduct of free agency. But Keenan Allen, Michael Felger, this is why you don't have rookies over your riches. They don't know what they're doing. Like, this is a gift. This is a gift from God for, for you, okay? You got a number one receiver. As I said last night, he's got six Pro Bowls. Calvin Ridley has made zero. You offer... $22 million a year to Calvin Ridley, who's a projection as a number one receiver. They're giving away Keenan Allen for a fourth rounder. You're not going to find a number one receiver in the fourth round in year one. You might down the road, but his, his, his contract is expiring. He's still a productive player. He's still a top 10 receiver in football. He knows how to get open. He knows how to slot your wide receiver room properly. And so now a number three receiver like Kendrick Bourne can be a number three receiver. Everybody has helped. Your young quarterback, your rookie quarterback is going to have a target to throw to. This made so much sense, Michael. Yet you've got these rooks in place who don't know what they're doing or Something else. Fourth round pick. Fourth uh, rounder. Fourth round pick. I didn't just say Allen with has you. only a year left, as you said. So maybe they look at it and say a fourth round pick for a guy who only has a year. Uh, to me, it all stacks up to the same thing. They're not putting enough into this season, and, and it's uh, and and I think a lot of you out there are letting them get away with it uh, by saying, "Hey, it's a rebuild." Hey, they're not going to be very good anyway. Stop it. So why why invest too much? Yet, you know, and again, we don't usually talk like this when it comes to football, but they do charge the highest ticket prices in the league. There are paying customers who watch their games. There are people who are heavily invested in their team. You owe it to them to be as good as you can be within the context of how you're trying to build. Keenan McCard, I, why do I say can't see, keep saying Keenan Because Cardinal. he was good too. Keenan but, Allen. But he wasn't as good as Keenan Allen. Keenan, Keenan Allen, Allen yeah. doesn't hurt you against the cap because it's only one year, and then you can start fresh with the new contract and you got the next money. year. You have the money. You have the cap space, if you believe in that nonsense. You have the draft pick capital. You have the need. And I just don't think they want to do it. Again, it is between his base salary and the, uh, he's got a roster bonus due on Sunday of $5 million. It's like $23 million. So it's, you know, that, that's over double than what they would pay or what they've paid any receiver to this point. But if they're willing to do it for Ridley, why wouldn't they be willing to do it for a guy who's actually better and it's a need and you still have to have a football season, but do they really care? And are you, go and are you gonna hold them accountable for that?